Hi, I'm Liz. This is my garden. Yeah, so we moved in about um, 14 or 15 years ago, and there was pretty much nothing here, just some hedges that I got rid of. Um, and so first we just started with two strips kind of beside the walkway and a little bit in front. We just put down horse manure and let it age all summer and then planted some stuff. And then it just kind of evolved from there. Um, I'm a big fan of, of natural gardens and plant seeding around and pollinator plants. Um, a lot of this, like this is seeded around everywhere and the cone flowers that you can see all around have seeded around. And so I just kind of, it's survival of the fittest here because I don't do a lot of um, supplemental watering. And so all the plants here are, are definitely tough survivors and probably 80% native and the rest are pretty well adopted, adapted non-natives. Yeah, so I like to incorporate edibles as part of the garden. So I've got, um, I've got some basil right here and some cucumbers over here oh, there's a and then so I've got some cherry tomatoes here um, I've got a fig tree right here this is called little miss figgy and she was supposed to be a dwarf but she is not a dwarf <laughs> she is not a dwarf a pollinator garden is a garden that's planted for pollinators so for birds and butterflies and dragonflies and um, uh, bees. I include birds. They're not necessarily pollinators, but they um, they feed the insects to their young. Um, Ninety percent of bird species feed insects to their young, so pollinators are really important because the birds use them for their to raise their young. And so, if you want to get rid of your lawn, put in pollinator plants. Mm -hmm. <laughs>